So basically, the Asian Revolution now sent a signal across the Caribbean that 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 that, 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 that basically said that the planters they were not invincible. He, 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 even though the planters could have could have called in, could have called the soldiers and declared martial law, and basically the soldiers had superior training for the slaves and superior weapons. Basically, the slaves were organized. If they were their plan accordingly, they could still defeat. They could defeat their colonial masters. That was, uh, was the fourth negative effect of, of revolts on slaves. Fifth negative effect of revolts on slaves. Some slaves became impatient for their freedom. So. So that 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 was a situation where 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 they became impatient because furthermore, remember when it came when it came when 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 basically the administration proposals came. The roof on the guys you say it, the guys you say it. No, no, on the roof of the guys on the roof of the. But yeah, I have the administration proposals came, but basically the proposals that were put in place by the British government. So basically. To, to basically better the condition that the slaves were living under. That the slaves were living under in the British Caribbean. As such, a figure don't know that. It, it was a case in Barbados where, where, where slaves misinterpreted these proposals to better their, better their living condition as the planters were withholding their freedom. And so basically, so basically, slaves revolted because they, they, felt, they felt that planters were withholding their freedom, which had came. And as such, and as such, and as such, you figure out that they were impatient. Also, the Haitian Revolution means slaves impatient because, because the Haitian Revolution proved that proved that the planters could be beaten. Slaves became impatient for pressure from abolitionists. You understand? Which were which were lobbied against the harsh treatment and based on the conditions that slaves were living under. Therefore, the British the British government now came back and basically kind of put some measures in place of policy that was known as the amelioration policy. This policy, what it did was to basically improve the conditions of the slaves in the Caribbean. Many slaves saw this as freedom, which it was not. And the freedom did not came, slaves revolted. This was this was situation. This was this was a typical situation in my opinion. And that's not because slaves now misinterpreted the my amelioration as freedom and as such they revolted. Also, the Haitian Revolution also created some level of impatience within the slaves. But the slaves now saw that you saw that Europeans had slashed the planters, basically they were not in there anymore. And it basically is they revolted. And basically my my revolt, they, they basically they were there was a possibility that they could get their freedom. So, so the situation in Haiti made slaves across the country an impatient because they saw that other black they saw other black countries basically was enjoying their freedom. So they know that they wanted their freedom. No one they had to take their freedom by a revolting that was true. And that was basically the only successful method that was used by other slaves in Haiti to get their freedom. So basically the Haitian Revolution created some level of impatience in the slaves because the slaves know size that the motivation are sad. We can do it, we can do it. So we, 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 we saw the revolt and take their freedom. We are going to revolt it because that's a, that's, a, that's a successful method that was used to get their freedom. And also the slaves misinterpret, also the slaves misinterpreting the military proposal of freedom, which was not the case, made 
made them impatient, and my being impatient played revolted. So that was the fifth negative effect of the revolt on slave. The sixth, the sixth negative effect of, of revolt on slaves was that created division among the slaves. For example, during the 1763, 1763 Berbish revolt. And the Berbish revolt, that was with coffee. So, so where it, where, so where it says that some slaves, be, where it said that revolt created division among the slaves, that was that was a situation in which the 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 Berbish revolt may had Kathy was in charge and they had and they had Accra situation Accra wanted to be escalate to control of Berbish at that point in time, but but Kathy did not want that because. The slaves were willing to copy what copy did was basically relax and allow the governor at that time, which was Governor Van Hoogen Hine, to him. And by starting him, he basically could buy himself enough time for basically his reinforcement, reinforcements slash soldiers to come and basically basically defeat copy and his defeat copy and his men. So as such basically that as such basically leaders during leaders during the revolt basically not basically leaders during the revolt not working together are basically not coming not coming to a not not coming to an understanding between each other led to division during the revolt and division among the slaves where one wanted to do this whereas another set of slaves wanted to do that. I, I think I think basically I think basically this was this was the case. I think this was basically the case in another revolt where in another revolt where you had another thing which 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 basically took which basically which basically turn turn basically turn clone evidence clone evidence that basically snitched on everybody. That was and, and, and that was basically in the eighteen twenty three boat at Marara where where we had we had Jack we had Kwamina we had Jack and Kwamina and basically Jack, Jack who was coming as son, they were two of the ringleaders. So Jack basically, Jack basically turning back on the slave, basically became King's evidence, King's evidence, King evidence means snitching on his fellow slave, snitching on his fellow slave to basically save himself. So therefore, so, so therefore you had the therefore you had division among therefore therefore you had division among the slaves. Where at a situation where 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 the revolt in Berbis where at Accra and Kaffi had issues because Accra wanted to take the island. Where at Kaffi where at Kaffi was basically procrastinating, and they were winning and basically let the governor at that time, which was Governor Van Hoogen Hine, stalled him and basically bought himself enough time until his reinforcements and like soldiers came. And basically defeated Kaffi. It was also the case in in basically the, the, the revolt of Demarara, and that's in 1823. Yeah. Jack, which was Kwamina's son, they were basically two other leaders. Jack basically turned King's evidence and snitch or basically snitched on snitched on his fellow slaves and, and therefore cost them to lose their lives and Kaffi cost them to be caught and targeted by the soldiers. So basically those were those were the those were the negative effects of the revolt of the state. 